everybody, it's Diane with the January Glue Book once again. I'm on page or day 28, which is something made from wood, pizza, ostrich, mug, and glove. Well, it just so happens I found an ostrich in looking at other stuff, and I was smart enough to cut it out. That's all there was of it. I was concerned about pizza. So the night before, I just grabbed a couple uh, Food Network magazines that at the moment I've misplaced. Oh, here. Just totally random. I have several. But I just grabbed the two that were closest to the top. And I didn't even see this until this morning. So this is actually way too easy, and I even feel a little guilty about it, <laughs> which is quite a statement from a Leo. We like an easy win. But, uh, yeah. So if you're doing this, look for the, what is it? Volume 14, number four. I don't see a date. Of the Food Network magazine, May 2021. And you'll be very happy. Because there's more pizzas than you can shake a stick at. The word pizza. And then they have some on wood boards. So I think I'm going to use that. Well, to me this pizza looks better, except I don't like olives. And what lemon is doing next to a pizza? Oh, with clams. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> take this one. All right, so there's wood and pizza, mug and glove. So I don't know, I would think there's mugs and gloves in here. There's a coffee mug right there. Oh, there's a mug tree. That's it. I would think they'd have more mugs than that. Find the dishware. This isn't really dishware. Well, I guess that's the high point. Okay. Well, all right. Eight mugs and the tree is ten bucks. From nineteen seventy-eight. Actually from seventy-eight that sounds kind of pricey. Oh glove, okay. This is the Christmas catalog. I would kinda of think there'd be gloves in here, but maybe uh it's hats. Uh, uh, mittens. Hmm. Is there an index in here? I need an index to find the index. I don't see one. It's got to be an index. I got the cool boot from. It also came in brown. And does anybody remember those hiking boots with the red laces? I remember those being really popular. I don't think I had a pair. If I did, they didn't look exactly like that. They were more like a knockoff girly version. Oh, here. Perfect. Well, I guess I'll just take the brown ones. That's kind of the theme, color theme so far. Okay, so that's everything. All right, so as I keep saying, now come up with a clever background. 
and I need a number 28, which I usually do those numbers last so I can kind of see what color I want or size. And this also means there's only a couple more prompts left, right? Three more. And I am ahead. I don't know when these videos will air, but I'm ahead right now. So how has your weather been? I don't think I've seen the sun like at all this year. <laughs> that may be a bit of an exaggeration, but I'll stress a bit. And the week coming up, I notice there's sun a couple days, which is better than it's been, but mostly cloudy. If the sun ever does come out, I'm going to get a headache. Okay. It's not too bad. All right, this thing, how big is this? All right, it should fit. Although I don't want that guy there. I'll, sorry, Steve Jackson. I'll have to put something over that, like a, a mug tree or something. Sorry, my dog just bumped into his own food stand. <laughs> it is small back here in his defense. And he's big. Good fit. I don't know how I want to cut this out. I want to leave it as this picture. Then we have a three in it. All right, I'll leave it for now. And then the ostrich. We could cut that out, couldn't we? I think we almost have to. It's not, I was going to say stupid, but it does look kind of stupid. It's not real stupid, terribly stupid. Yeah, we need like a red checkerboard, like an Italian tablecloth look thing, don't we? I don't really know if I have any of that. I did years ago. <laughs> um, I'm looking quick. Oh, you know, I have a pad that's plaids. I don't think there's really a red plaid on there, but I could check. Let me pause because that's, I have to punt around for that. Let me pause and come up with something for the background. I don't, I don't know. Just hang on. Okay. I found a plaid sort of rumpled fabric. It's okay. It's a little busy. It's okay. I cut a little bit from the bottom of the mug. I cut the ostrich out so now you hardly even see it. But I think that's just going to be life in the big city. Because maybe we don't really want to draw attention to it anyway. I found... 24 plus 4 is 28. I wanted red, and those were the first reds I came to, so I'm going to do something with that. I don't have to have those stars on there, but there's not a lot going on in the top. Crooked. 
So I do need a plus sign or the word plus or something. Okay. Um, you know, if you want to do that and be done, go ahead. But I thought maybe a word, I mean, it's too boring for me. I don't know what word. Some fun. Um, it's okay. And actually, these peppers, the colors match really nicely. Do you like peppers? I like green raw peppers and that's it. <laughs> I don't like them cooked in anything. Oh yeah, Diane, we forgot. You're really picky, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I am. I'll give a little hint too for fussy cutting. If you're doing something like this and you're not dead on with your cutting, it doesn't make much difference. Now, if you're not dead on with a face, or an animal or something like that, you are going to notice. Does that come as any big revelation to anybody? And cutting something organic, so to speak, like a flower or a pepper, if you, for some reason you wanted to shave that in, you could and it wouldn't look weird. Okay, of course you put in a weird angle that wasn't there before, that might look weird. Yeah, that's kind of fun. All right. In the know, food news. Hmm. All right, this is going to be kind of silly. <laughs> they have the word time here in letters I like. As in TikTok, not as in the herb. So I can just leave it, and so what? You know. But what if it said pizza time? Yeah, that's kind of silly, Diane. Remember what I said about puns the other day? <laughs> that Homer Simpson wrote that. <laughs> okay. Well, I think that word pizza there is too big. All right, let's just take a small one. Let's take black. It'll stand out better. If you do something similar and that background is really bugging you, you could um, just sew it down a little bit. It might look better, but I sort of liked seeing the colors. Um. I think as far as these go, I will leave some white around because if you don't, it's going to melt into that pizza and you'll never see it. Let's see if that's going to work. Yeah, that should be okay. All right, let me pause. You don't want to watch me cut all this stuff out. I'm going to pause, find a plus or the word plus, glue it down. That might be it. Okay, come back in a minute. Okay, yes, we're done. 
I went around the whole thing with white craft paint that gives it a little bit of confinement. I found the word plus. It did dawn on me that uh, food magazine, sometimes they have, you know, two cups plus two tablespoons of flour. And that's exactly where I found it. Uh, I think that's all I did that was different. So yeah, that's kind of busy. It's kind of fun. So remember it was something made from wood, pizza, ostrich, mug, club. Okay, and as long as we're here, it just dawned on me, the prior prompts that I did without you guys, isn't that cool? I'll explain that in the flip through. There's supposed to be a paw print on it and I forgot. It's like when I was thinking about last night when I couldn't fall asleep. <laughs> I didn't put a paw print on there. Wasn't that, wasn't that one of the prompts? No, that was a prior, prior prompt. No, that was footprint. No, it's paw print. You forgot. Where do I want it? I really kind of like don't want it on here. Okay. That's well, okay. All right. So we mended number 27. And we did number 28, or 24 plus 4. All right, thanks for hanging out, you guys. Have a good day.